illegally cited the mixer channel and I'm going to try to see oh, are we actually gonna stream this time come on whoa echo all right we are live sorry about that um, welcome back to the illegally cited mixer stream this is believe it or not a legally blind mixer stream so I know people if they pop into this they're probably gonna be like why are you playing so weird or you know just different little things like that um <clears throat> this is uh, I am a legally blind gamer here and uh, we are working our way through I'm just starting another run of City of Brass this game I've known about it now I've been playing it for the last probably two three weeks now and I'm still pretty hooked on it I gotta say this game is quite addictive to me. Okay, what kind of, uh, okay, and that might be okay, but I might save my money for later on. So this is, I suppose my, technically my third attempt at a mixer stream. I haven't, uh, I have been putting a little bit of them on my, the archives on my YouTube channel, illegal, uh, youtube.com slash illegally cited but the last one that I did I don't think it really went very well so believe me if you missed it you're probably not missing much all right we got that so let's see I'm just gonna collect a bunch of my shiny gold here and items um, that so where to begin? Um, like I said, I'm kind of new to this streaming thing. Overall, I'm really kind of liking Mixer, although I am sort of having a couple of issues <coughs> just with getting streams to start. Um, it seems like when like once I get a stream started, everything seems to run generally all right, but getting it started getting a stream to technically go live seems to somewhat be an issue. Let me go up here and see if there's another store or anything of interest. Oh, hey, buddy. Blow you up. All right. All right. I got, I got a health power up there, which I don't need just yet. So we'll leave that alone. Uh, but yeah, I, like the problem that I have is when you start, my computer says it's streaming, but I'm using my iPhone mixer app to kind of verify that, hey, the stream is actually live, that it is working. Wow, there's stores everywhere here. What do we got here? Ooh. Uh, ah. Uh, I do like the ice, but I want the fire one. Honestly, the fire whip is one of my favorites. Um, so it seems like when I've started a mixer stream, at least I've been trying it off and on, it kind of, oh, jeez, I wasn't paying any attention. It takes me a couple of times to get the stream actually to go live. Uh, but once I get it started, seems okay. So for those who have not played City of Brass before, it is a first-person melee roguelike roguelite style game where you basically are trying to navigate this kind of Prince of Persia... Oh shit! Uh, it's trap-laden... Thing that I okay, you know what? That heart thing that I um, that I passed up. Let me go back and grab that since I just did something stupid and landed on those spikes. That was totally my fault. Yeah, come here, bud. There we go. Knock his knock his ass out. All right. Um, but yeah, City of Brass is this uh, first-person melee roguelike thing. And it's cool because, you know, I, I'm really... There's been so many various roguelike, roguelite games out over the last couple of years. Like, I, 
think I'm not the only one in saying that, you know, we're kind of getting a little bit tired of these procedurally generated type of games. They could be, you know, first person, they could be, you know, I've played a couple of shooters that way, um, a lot of side scrollers, all kinds of different genres that kind of have this roguelite esque thing to it. And there's only been a, really a couple that have hooked me in some way. Rogue Legacy is really the first one that I that I sunk any major amount of time into. And Rogue Legacy, I wish I was better at it because like I love the game, but oh my god, you get to do those bosses and stuff. I beat the first boss, and then like the second one, I just got completely wrecked. I could not be. Let's see, the skull was the first one. The, I'm trying to remember what the second boss was in that game, but it was. Uh, I think it had like a whole bunch of little, like little. Not with the skull. I don't remember what it was, but nevertheless, I did not do very well. So I haven't played that in a while, but you know, I've tried a few other ones. A couple of first person, a couple of side scrollers, and they're okay, but none of them have really hooked me. And City of Brass here, you know, like I said, the whole Prince of Persia style, the whole, uh, almost like an Aladdin kind of thing with like the genie stuff, or the a tail, or Arabian Nights sort of thing. And uh, it's just, it's just, it's a unique setting, it's a unique there's unique enemies, you have the whip, which, again, I contend more... Oh, man, no, I need that explosion, there's a cracked wall, crapola, and I wasted... Mm, let me look around here and see, I have the timers actually turned off, so normally there are timers in this game, but I'm kind of playing it more... Giving myself some advantages, if I can, just to try to survive, and uh, getting rid of the timer is one of them. But I'd love to find him an explosive because god dang it I would love to break open that wall for some more money. Maybe there's one in here. Um, but yeah, I contend that more games need whips. Castlevania is cool. Uh, Indiana Jones is cool. This game is cool. AKA whips are kinda cool. I do like them. Alrighty. Grab that for some ammo. God, that really bugs me, man. Uh, there's no... Just kind of looking all around. And I don't see any explosives, which is a ginormous bummer right there. <gasps> Damn it. Oh, I, okay. You, you want some? Hey, I'll, I'll vent my frustration on you, sir. There we go. Knock your butt down the stairs. Let me take one more gander over this way. Make sure there's no... Again, you really got to watch the floor in this game, because it's super easy just to not look where you're going and floor trap. I don't know why we got that dramatic music there, but okay, we got another there. Grab some more chuckables for ammo. You know what? Let's use this. Because this will allow me to start people on fire. Hey! Oh, somebody got shellacked over there. Oh, somebody else got trapped. Okay, uh, was this the same room that I was in? Yeah, okay. Damn, I was secretly hoping that... Oh, God! Back away! It's not very nice. I was gonna look at the store and summon my minion buddy. Okay, wait for this to go away. And one thing I'm definitely going to have to get used to as far as streaming goes is just the fact of, like, 
You know, normally when I do on, uh, you know, I have an, the illegally cited YouTube channel. That's where I really started all this video nonsense. But I had figured everyone else is doing the streaming thing. I can give it a shot. And, uh, you know, when you're normally when I do these spotlight one-off videos or something like that. Oops. Well, I started my buddy on fire there a little bit, but hey. Um... I can just kind of talk about the game in a little bit, but I've already done that, so trying to offer, you know, some sort of rambling commentary, uh, that is definitely a skill that I'm going to have to acquire to think about what the heck I'm supposed to say in the streams. So... It doesn't look like anyone is in the stream so far. But, for the archive's sake, I said I might upload these. If uh, the archive is interesting enough. Okay, no, I don't care. I'm almost to the end of the level, probably. Why waste money on disabling traps? Oh, I keep looking for more secrets there. I want some money. Oh yeah, now I find an explosive. Is it really worth going back? Uh, considering I don't know... I sort of know where it is, but I don't. Let me take one last look back here, see if I can remember kind of where to go. Okay, I know it was in here, and it was... Oh, wait a minute, it was right... Okay, here we go. Yeah! Explode. There we go. That wasn't as bad as I thought. I was actually thinking I would have to do a lot more backtracking than I actually did. Right. More money. All right, that will help. I don't know where my buddy. Where did my buddy go? Oh, there he is. He just got stuck somewhere. But yeah, uh, like I said. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hi, how you doing? I am new to the streaming thing, so this is only my second or, thir or third actual video. I will probably upload this to YouTube, and, you know, if people want to watch it, that's cool. If they don't, whatever. Um, <clears throat> I know a lot of people do streams, repeat, you know, repeated streams of their current, you know, their current favorite game. Like, on my channel, I've focused a lot more on, like, the low vision spotlights or accessible game spotlight videos, kind of covering a one-off game. <laughs> And, um, you know, just highlighting it, showing what works, what doesn't, what I like about it, is it accessible, do I have trouble with it, those sorts of things. Um, but Twitch, or, you see, I keep wanting to call it Twitch, because almost everybody who does streaming, they use Twitch. So, I am with Mixer, just because it's easy, and it's, hey, it's powered into Windows. The lag seems pretty, uh, minimal. And uh, it's working overall pretty well, so we'll keep trying it. But uh, I th oh, nice. I <clears throat> I want to. Uh, I'm probably gonna do more of just like the playing games. Like so, if people just want to watch continual footage of me playing some sort of a game. That's probably where I'll do it. I, pro you know, if there's a game that I really, really want to dedicate a let's play for, um, I don't know. I, I might just record it ahead of time, like I do, like I have been on the YouTube channel. But I might just also, I might just record it live and then upload the extra footage. I'm not sure. Now, the only thing that I know... The only thing that kind of sucks about doing the... Doing the streaming, if it's a long game... And if I want to put it into half-hour, hour things, I'm either going to have to edit and chop up the video, or I'm going to have to, like, keep stopping every so often and doing that, where, you know, literally just recording, I stop, wait probably 5-10 seconds, hit record again, and boom, we're off. 
So, you know, there'll be some logistic stuff, uh, growing pains, as I learn how this whole streaming stuff works, what the workflow is going to be and what I want to do, that kind of a thing. Yeah. Rambling, whatever. So, for anyone curious, like I said, I am legally blind, and I have been since birth, but I've also been a gamer since forever. You know, back in the Atari 2600, Commodore 64, Apple II days, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, ever since I learned, like, oh my god, I saw my first video game or computer game, and like, wait, what? You can actually control things on your TV? Or on a computer? Huh. I was sold, so... I've been hooked on games ever since, but I think where I really started getting into games... You know, I like the Atari, it was cool. But, I think where I really got hooked was the NES, the original Nintendo. I didn't have one right away. The first place I actually saw one... I gotta minimize the stupid chat thing that expanded again. Uh, yoink. There we go. Get out of my way. There we go. But yeah, it's so like the first... I The first game I saw on the original, original NES was not Mario, believe it or not. It wasn't Mario or Duck Hunt. I actually... There was a storm day. You know, growing up in the old frigid north of North Dakota. Um, yeah, we have storms, and I live out in the middle of freaking nowhere. And so, you know, if you live in the country and it got really stormy while you were in school, you had to often stay at a storm. It didn't happen too often, but we had to stay at a storm, uh, storm home. And the person that I stayed with at the time he had an a NES, and the first game that I got to see and play a little bit, I really didn't get to play much, because kind of he just hung up the whole time, but it was nevertheless fun watching, was Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, and that is still one of my favorite NES, let alone favorite video games, ever. I mean, I'm not super into boxing, but Punch-Out is not... It's a boxing game, but it's almost more of a... Almost, I would say almost more of a puzzle game, because, like, every boxer has its own sort of... patterns and moves that you basically have to react to. And I'm still kind of ashamed to say I have never beaten that game. Uh, Punch-Out is really fucking hard, man. Um, I've gotten to, uh, the, oh wait, did I just go back? Yes, I did. I just went back because that was really stupid. I'm not paying any attention. Here. I think the farthest I've gotten, I've gotten to Super Macho Man once. I've beaten Sandman, but I still even have trouble with... You know, the later iterations of Valpole and Soda Popinski isn't so terrible. Ow! That sucked. Oh, we got another crack. Okay, I need another explosive. Chuck that thing. I need to find another explosive thing. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I've gotten to... Some of the later boxers, but not much doing. I've, of course, used the password for Mike Tyson. And let's just say I get my ass kicked. You know, he knocks you over in one hit, you're done. You are done. <clears throat> now, basically, I think the, th the trick is you have to outlast, what is it, the first two minutes and 30 seconds or something like that. And then, then he'll not do quite as many one-hit knockdown punches, but... You know, all the patterns and stuff are just like so... He, the, the wait times are just so random that it gets a little tricky to do consistently. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've been hooked on video games ever since. You know, really hooked on the Nintendo. 
played a lot of Apple II games. I'm still looking for an explosive, man. And I'm not... Oh, I'm getting some... Getting some frame rate chops here. I don't know if that's going to come through on the video, but it probably will. Um, oof, I'm getting a lot of frame rate chugs. I haven't had that happen yet until now. Um, so I don't really have much running. You know, I think I, have, I might have a clone tab. Steam is running, but that, you know, I'm not, I don't have any of this going. I'm not using the internet or anything, so... Other than streaming, so... Hopefully it irons itself out. And isn't too terrible. But, uh, yeah, I mean, PC gaming. I played the Apple II a lot. My friend had a Commodore 64. Played some of that, but man, once I got into DOS gaming, when I saw... Wolfenstein 3D when I saw the original Doom. Holy crap, man. Then I was hooked. Like, I mean, I still love Nintendo. Don't get me wrong. I still love Mario, Zelda, Metroid, F-Zero, all that kind of stuff. All the old franchises like that. But man, like, when I could play a game in first person, and you were looking down the barrel of your gun, shooting Nazis, shooting imps and demons, and all kinds of stuff in Doom and Wolfenstein. Yeah, no. Uh, First-person shooters were just that. I'm like, you know what? That's my thing. Uh, played a lot of Doom, Quake, Heretic, Hexen, uh, just Duke Nukem. I mean, I was looking... I remember, you know, with the shareware days back then, I was looking for anything and everything that I could as far as first-person shooters. And, you know, I played some really crap ones, uh... A few that were pre-Wolfenstein 3D. You know, a lot of people think that Wolf 3D was actually the first one. No, it wasn't. There were a couple other ones that tried to do, like, a first-person perspective. Even it did a couple of uh, attempts before Wolfenstein. You know, they had Catacomb 3D. They had, oh god, what was the other one? Um, I still like their original game, or original name for one of them. They wanted to call it It's Green and Pissed. <laughs> that's pretty good. I still would like a game named that. That's pretty good. Okay, no, I don't care about insurance. I don't care about that right now. But yeah, I mean, I love... Like I said, I think Doom is actually my favorite game of all time. I mean, as far as like first-person shooters, it's just... It's 2018 right now, and it still holds up today, in my opinion. I mean, it. You run, you shoot, you find keys. And there's not really a lot more to it than that, and there doesn't need to be. There doesn't need to be. I mean, the levels are intricate. You know, it's not. You're not just going down a hallway. There's secret passages, there's a horde of enemies, so you always have. You know, especially if you crank up the difficulty a bit. Um, and then you add all these, you know, that's, again, Doom is one of the first games that really got modding into it, you know, you had level packs, you had total conversions, you had, like, you know, everything from aliens to, you know, killing Barney, I remember that was one of them, there was a, or no, that was a Quake one I was thinking of, they had this South Park mod, um, I remember you played Kenny, uh, and there's a South Park mod for Quake, it probably was for Doom, Doom as well, for all I know. But I played the I played the uh, Quake one. But yeah, I mean the original Doom. I mean the soundtrack. I mean I know a lot of it was just based off of like the metal music that they were listening to at the time. You know, anything from Slayer to Metallica to Pantera, whatever. But where is the harm in that, man? Ah. Slayer, Pantera, Metallica. Well, yeah, why wouldn't you want that in your game? Uh, those bands are awesome. Those bands are great. Metallica, again, being one of my favorite bands of all time. Despite their <clears throat> missteps that shall remain nameless, <clears throat> Saint Anger. Oh, God, that... Saint Anger, wow, that was so... Free. 
and the drumming alone, that, that snare drum was enough to make your ears bleed. Uh, and like I said, I love me some Metallica, but St. Anger, oof, I can't do it. I, I can't listen to that album, let, you know, f I can't listen to much of it at a time, let alone all the way through. But, um, yeah, I mean, everything about Doom, the music, the enemies, the speed, the secrets, just, oh, the game is so good. And then, like I said, now you have all these mods, GZ Doom, and all these other things that will add modern conveniences, like mouse luck and things like that, uh, different lighting effects. And then you go beyond that, you add things like Brutal Doom, the Brutal mod. Hell yeah! Um, did that with Wolfenstein and Doom, I still play those. I mean, I, I'll, if I want something to do and I'm not really sure what I want to play and I just want to cause some mayhem, hell yeah. Bring on Brutal Doom, Brutal Wolfenstein 3D. Uh, even just cranking up God mode and just like, okay, you know, IDDD, IDDQD, IDKFA, let's, uh, you know, let's fuck some shit up and just annihilate demons and Nazis and have ourselves a good old time. Alrighty. Is there... Oh, okay, that, that's, I've never seen this layout before. It's kind of interesting seeing, you know, because uh, all these rooms, even though they're random, they're kind of based on, like, preset patterns. Like, you get to recognize, oh, I've seen this room pattern before. Or I've seen these kind of kind of building blocks together before. Uh, I don't think I've actually seen that one. Like, the little blocks and the thing like that. Shut up, chicken. Alright, we got a chest. Okay, it's not a trap. Good. Could use a heart or two. Ha ha ha! Ask and sh thy shell. No, I'm not gonna waste a, a genie wish because I only am missing one right now. And if I find another one, I can get it back. That would be kind of a dumb. <coughs> Excuse me. That'd be a dumb waste of a. A genie wish. Let's check out over here. I know, oh, okay, no, we're not supposed to. Yeah, no, I don't want to go that way. Uh oh. Did she see me come around the corner? Uh, hopefully, she'll get killed by the thing, the trap back there. Oh, no, don't get hit, buddy. Okay, you're dead. Uh-oh, is somebody coming from? Oh, I think they are. Okay, can okay, yeah, you... Good job, dude. Thanks for getting her. Alright. Got some chuckables here. And I hear... S nope, that's gold. Oh, I almost hit a trap. I hear gold. I see gold. There we go. So yeah, Doom, definitely one of, if not, my favorite games of all time. Really? You're not going to hit it? There. Um, there's just, you know, I, I will still come back and play Doom anytime, especially the Doom Shareware episode is brilliant. Like, it sells that game perfectly. I know it doesn't have all the weapons, all the advanced enemies and stuff in there, but it's just so memorable. Um, yeah, I, I've kind of always been just one to be like, uh, if there's a new, new cool game or system, if I have the means, especially now that I'm working, you know, I'm adult and I can actually try to get stuff, I will, because when I was growing up, I couldn't afford anything. Um, you know, I was not rich at all growing up. Our parents were not rich. Um, <clears throat> we got a Nintendo, and we did get some games, but 
that eventually stopped too, and it was partly a money thing, partly my fault, because it was like, you know, like I said, I was, I love that thing, you know, I love the NES, and, um, they're like, no, we're not buying you any more games, because you won't quit playing the damn thing, and, uh, you know, they wanted me to do stuff, and like, ah, I want to play Nintendo. So they're like, uh, okay, A, we're not buying you any more games, and B, like hell, we're buying you a Super Nintendo, or any future system. I think we, I did get a Game Boy out of them, so I did get that far. Where the hell is this door that I'm supposed to go in? I'm trying to follow the arrow here. Up this way, I guess. Alright, let's, ooh. Okay, let's, uh... I'm just trying to make it so that guy doesn't fall in that pit on my buddy. Alright, but... Yeah. Wait, what the hell? I've already been here? Uh, really? Okay. Guess I'm not... Oh, I hear money. I hear money. Um... Yeah, I, my parents just would not buy me any other systems. <laughs> Game Boy, one or two games, NES, and you know we got one or two Christmases where we got a couple. We got some Nintendo games. After that, they're like, hm, nope. And the only reason I got PC games was um, I saved up and bought one or two of them myself. And you know, back in the day, shareware you could at least get the shareware portions of them. And I, I was able to make a couple of friends in high school to where, yeah, you know, I could copy, admittedly, I copied Doom and Wolfenstein 3D, those types of games, I, you know, Heretic Hexen, those types of things. I, I did pirate them, the, the full versions, but I made up for it later because I can't count how many versions, versions of Doom I own, and Wolfenstein for that matter. Um, I think I own them both on, like, PC, iOS, XBLA, I think I have a Game Boy version of, I don't think I got Doom, but I think I have Wolfenstein 3D on GBA. Um, so I, I paid for it, I made up for it, but, yeah, that was the only way that I was able to play them, you know? Um, so a lot of what I wanted to, a lot of these games and stuff, it was a matter of, getting off to college and, you know, getting on my own, <clears throat> you know, getting, getting some, uh, part-time jobs and buying my own stuff, and then I really, then it was just having, to, oh, jeebus, I hate you, oh, frick, oh, okay, no, I'm not gambling, and of course, ow, Okay, this is bad. Let me get in here. Get away from that fireball truck. Oh, yeah, I'm down to two health. That's fantastic. Now I need to expend a wish if I could find... If I can find a health station. That really bites. And what are the odds that I'm actually going to find one? I don't know. <coughs> um, yeah, growing, going off to college, I think, like, the first console I bought with my own real money was the N64. Um, <laughs> I remember in high school, I saw, I was with, a, I was on some trip with a f couple friends, and in, there was some department store we stopped at, and I saw the demo of Mario 64, and that blew my frickin' mind. Uh, just seeing, like, walking around the castle courtyard. Get out of my way, dude! Walking around the castle courtyard. I mean, to me, that looked like a frickin' cartoon. I mean, here Mario was in full 3D. He was, like, he was animated. He looked like in... You know, like I said, it looked like a frickin' cartoon. I could run and climb on the trees. I could you know, go into these paintings, and like I said, I only played it for maybe, we only looked at it for maybe five minutes, but we're like, this is the coolest thing we've ever seen. We ha I have to own this. So, literally, I went off to college after graduating high school, 
And I think, like, the second day that I was gone living on my own, granted I didn't have a lot of money, I really probably shouldn't have spent it, <clears throat> Uh, but I think it was li literally the first day or two after I got out of the house, my parents' house. What did I do? I went down to the mall. I went to Target, I think it was. Uh, there was a Target in one of the m in the mall, and I bought me a. Ow! I bought me a Mario 64. And a oh oh I'm so dead. yeah just you know what just frick kill me I'm so dead here yeah kill me there's no yeah there's no way I'm surviving this that why do they gotta put those big fire things why do they gotta put those right near the damn boss every time now let's do another run why not. But yeah, you know, I I went and bought a Super, or not a Super, I bought a Nin, Nintendo 64, and it was kind of funny because I bought it, and, you know, I had my bank account at, you know, through my hometown, so I wrote a check, and I remember my mom, look, you know, opening the bank, uh, bank statement later, like, what the hell did you buy for 130 It was like 129 bucks, I think it was. And, uh, they're like, what did you buy? I'm like, oh, I said I bought some stuff in college. I was, like, trying to hide it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had to own that, and yeah, you know, then we went and got, we went, I got Goldeneye, 1080 snowboarding, um, man, what are some other things, Perfect Dark, of course, Mario Kart, Mario Kart, oh man, between Mario Kart, Goldeneye, and, and, uh, 1080. Those were the three. Those were the three college games. I mean, everybody played them. Not just me. Like other people had N64s. We would get together and play GoldenEye. We would play uh, Mario Kart. 1080 was kind of. We had one or two friends of mine that would, we would play that. No one else really did, but. Man, good memory. Back in college, man, those are some great memories. Uh, before I transferred colleges, uh, made some friends there, and like we, there were times where we would literally stay up until like three, four in the morning. And uh, there was one night I remember where like, we would just play. There was this one trial. There's one course that we got hooked on on 1080 snowboard, <coughs> and we played that. Just going back and forth, like, you know, you're not going to win, and we're going to get the shortcut. Um, and we just play it till all hours of the morning. Same with Mario Kart. Mario Kart 64, the beach track, Koopa Troopa Beach. Again, that was one of those that, I mean, not just one day, but, like, all kinds of times. Different friends. I mean, it was all about that stupid-ass shortcut. You go up the ramp, you try to get into that cave to get around half of the track, and it was like, you know, okay, I'm going to lightning your ass, or I'm going to put banana peels right on the <laughs> right on the ramp. And we would literally play Mario Kart, um, Mario Kart 64 for hours, just on that one track, and it never got old. You know, we played the hell out of that game. You know, GoldenEye. Playing, the, playing that game, that was another one that we played a lot. Let's see, is this where I came? Yeah, because this had the heart. No, oh! No, this isn't. Okay. Grab some chuckables here. And break that. I should be paying more attention to the game, but I'm kind of just having fun rambling. And now that I have thought of something to talk about, I can just kind of roll with it. But. Okay, that has a crack. Yeah. Fortunately, the thing that I have doesn't explode. So now, of course, I've got to find a explosion tool. Aha! I think I see one. I think I do. I think I do. Come here, buddy. All right, we're going to run over there, and we're going to... Hmm, there we go. Get lots of cash and prizes. All right, we got that. A little chest of coins. Not quite as many coins all around the chest, but hey, got it all right. 
Uh, okay, we got more money there. That's always good. But, okay, can I get... Uh, let's see. Can I get up here? Yep. Okay, we can mantle up there, but does that... Does that do anything for me? I don't know if it does. Okay, let me go down and get across these. I don't want to touch these traps. But yeah, N64. I know a lot of people, you know, it was a PlayStation or an N64 thing. F-Zero X. That was another one that was super fun. Like, <clears throat> the graphics were not great, but the sense of speed on that thing. And, you know, true 3D tracks. I remember like, the in the first circuit they had... They had... Uh, the one track where you were on the outside of the tube, and then there's another track where you were inside of this tunnel, or another tunnel. Okay, now I gotta go back and get that health. Um, yeah, S0X, that was another one that we played. Um, no, I don't need to do that. This way. And I gotta go all the way back to here. Hmm. Yes. There we go. Okay, we're going straight across. Jump up there. Oh yeah, that was disabling traps. No, I don't want to do that on the early levels. Alright, now we're back pretty much where we need to be. Um, yeah, you know, I know a lot of people have N64 or uh, PlayStation. I did get a PlayStation as well, eventually. Um <clears throat> that one, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, sold me a PlayStation. I went to uh, I went and visited a bunch of relatives during a spring break in college. I took a train out. To, oh Jesus! Out to see some relatives, and um, they had a PlayStation. So in between going and doing stuff, we played some PlayStation, and I saw. Uh, I saw the Tony Hawk, I played the, the warehouse demo for Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Just a combination of gameplay and that damn Superman song. Like, it just, it, it, everything clicked. That game was so freaking good, you guys. And it, that's why, like, I covered the Tony Hawk Live a few, uh, and the Tony Hawk HD on the channel, on the YouTube channel. And it was so disappointing because, you know, Tony Hawk 1, 2, and 3 were amazing games. I loved them all. <clears throat> loved them. And then just to see, you know, they went kind of open world, like the Thug, Tony Hawk Underground games, and a couple of the other spin, I don't even remember the spin-offs, but there was like Tony Hawk Ride for the Wii, that was kind of a piece of shit. Uh, I really didn't like that game. I bought it, and I think I sold that one back, because I'm like, just oh, I did not care for it. But man, Tony Hawk 1 through 3, if they would... See, what they need to do is they don't need to call it Tony Hawk, but they need to get... And I'm hoping to God that it happens. Go to Kickstarter. Do Indiegogo. Do something, but like, some developers who know actually understand what made those first three Tony Hawk games. What made them good? What made them fun? What made them just infinitely replayable? Just so fun. Playing the same, you know, ten courses, ten environments over and over or so. You know, don't call it Tony Hawk. Don't even use the license. But, like, just make... You know, make a spiritual successor like they did with, you know, Bloodstained uh, the, to, to Castlevania or... You know, um, <clears throat> Shovel Knight. You know, there's been a few of them that's just like, okay, we're going to do the spiritual successor to a game franchise or game concept, gameplay concept that you like. Put it in there and just roll with it. And I want a game that plays like the original three Tony Hawk games. And I don't want it to be laggy, I want it to be just responsive. Because it's just, you know, even like the Tony Hawk HD, they didn't feel right. They did not feel like... Every, yeah. Tony Hawk HD felt off. Tony Hawk 5 just felt horrible. I mean, it didn't even just feel off. 
I don't know what was the issue. I don't I can't pinpoint what the issue exactly was for Tony Hawk 5, but oh boy was it a disappointing mess. I hated it. Um, you know, Tony Hawk HD, I at least I tried to play a few levels. I think I got to maybe the second level of Tony Hawk 5 and said, F this, this game is hot garbage. Um, so that's what really needs to happen. You know, back then I know they had competitors, <clears throat> and it was kind of like that, you know, they had competitors that were like Tony Hawk, but <clears throat> you tried them, and they just weren't they weren't what you wanted. You know, uh, what was it? Grind Session. I think that was one that was trying to be like a Tony Hawk. And I remember playing that on a PlayStation demo disc. And it just didn't work, you know? Uh, I... The combos didn't feel right. The grind, like something with the grinds and overall movement just felt off. Uh, the collision detection or something. I don't remember what it was, but it just did not feel right at all. And, uh, I would kill for another good Tony Hawk spiritual successor-esque game. I remember, like I said, going into college, that was another one that we played. We had Tony Hawk 3 on the GameCube. We, you know, uh, one or a couple of us had keys into our the classroom building, so we went in at night, hooked the, um, hooked our consoles up to the projector in the classrooms, and, uh, we would play console games, uh, on these, you know, on these giant projector screens, you know, playing Tony Hawk graffiti mode, oh, it was so much fun. Just getting into, you know, getting into it, challenging your friends, and like just watching everyone make combos, and oh, man, so many good memories. Playing that was like the era of local multiplayer, you know, and and of that's the hardest thing is like I don't have a lot of friends outside of work, you know. I even at work, you know, I have a couple people that are kind of yeah, they're friends or acquaintances, but we really don't do anything, maybe have a beer every once in a while outside of work, but I don't have any gamer friends. And, you know, college, you have that chance where you're making those friends, you know, you're finding that group of people that you identify with, and like I said, we had a group of about four or five people that, uh, one, especially once I transferred uh, to finish my undergrad degree. Ah, oh god. You need to die, sir. Sir! F off, there you go. There'll be enough of that shenanigans. Alright. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, man, we played... console games. We had a computer lab where we learned how to... You know, basically build windows and, and domain controllers and all kinds of networking stuff from scratch. And we'd have our separate hard drives where we would play PC multiplayer games or single player games. Uh, played a lot of Dungeon Keeper. We played Half Life, Deathmatch. We played. God, what did we play? Um, those are a couple that we got hooked on. And then we played a game I haven't covered on the channel yet, but I really need to. It's not on Steam. But it is on good old games. They finally did add it. There was this... I would kind of almost call it a precursor to something like Dark Souls. Um, there was a game called Severance. Blade of Darkness. And it was really cool. Because you had these combos. It was this third person like, melee game you could pick between. Like, a knight, a dwarf. There was a... Uh, Oh, there's a, there's a lady, she wasn't an archer, she had like a staff, like a bow staff. Um, I can't remember if there were three or four classes that you could be, but each one of them had their own starting level, and then they kind of converged into the main story. So each one of them, okay, there was an explosive, I might keep that in mind. Um, each one of them had their own starting level, and then the story would kind of converge from there, but like, 
you had all these special moves that you would learn, and like that was one of the games that had the graphics were actually quite good for the, for the time, uh, especially if you had the PC to run it, and uh, it was just a fun game. Like I remember, you get especially after you leveled up your character, you powered up a bit, and you could just wreck the other guys. Like you could just like, you could literally decapitate people. Uh, you're fighting these orcs and stuff, and just like smash them all to hell. So much fun. Uh, I remember we got in heavily into that. We would take turns playing it in the lab, and then uh, and then we would go back to my dorm room because I was I was always the one that was crazy enough to hey I'm gonna build this monstrosity PC. And uh, she's like, oh man, and, you know, playing it in the lab is like, yeah, it's okay, but like, you come to your place, and I was always the one that had this crazy gaming setup because I was, I didn't have a lot of money, but the money I did spend, I was like, of course I gotta feed my gaming addiction. <laughs> you know, <coughs> should I have spent the, some of the money on wiser things? Yeah, sure, I probably should have, definitely, but. <laughs> Um, yeah, I tried to do some of that, but yeah, I, uh, especially like I said, the parents weren't there. I want to play some games, man. Oh no, 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 no. You need to sit. Yeah. Sit the fuck down, lady. Getting better at fighting those. Especially the archer ones aren't so bad. You just gotta do a lot of sidestep. Um, yeah, like I said, just reminiscing. Some gaming memories. Kind of fun just to kind of think back. College days, man. You buy your first couple consoles. N6. I was a I was a Nintendo person still. I stuck with, uh, you know, N64, GameCube. I did buy a PlayStation. Like I said, mainly for Tony Hawk series, but Symphony of the Night and Soul Blade. Those are the other two that I just fell super hard for. I remember seeing, I think it was, I get them mixed up how they were. One was in the arcade and one was in the PlayStation. One was Soul Blade and one was Soul Edge. I think, I think Edge was the arcade and Soul Blade was the PlayStation. The pre, uh, the predecessor to Soul Calibur. And <clears throat> I remember in, uh, right outside of our, of our dorm cafeteria, uh, they had a arcade set up. Whoa, we're not looking to keep going. Let me out of here. Hold on. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Let me get away from this crazy fireball chucking mother fricker. Okay, there we go. I think we're away. Um, but yeah, they had the, the Soul Blade machine. I'm like, oh my god, this is cool. And then I found out, like, what? You made a... There's a PlayStation version of this, and I had to have it. Um... Yeah, that was so much fun, and then I saw Soul Calibur on the Dreamcast, amazing, amazing game. I covered a not quite as good version on the channel, it lacked the actual, like, Weapon Master mode of the Dreamcast version, but still a cool fighting game. Um, the one regret that I have, ga one, the one major regret that I have as far as gaming goes, around that time, again, I didn't have any money, and if I wanted to keep playing the games that I wanted to play, <clears throat> I often had to sell, sell games that I really maybe didn't want to play as much. And so during that time, I did sell a lot of games, and I sold eventually sold my PlayStation. Uh, I don't remember what I sold it for. I don't remember if that was what I sold it for a Dreamcast or some games that I really want. I don't remember why I sold it, but <sighs> that is the one regret that I do have, man. Um, I had probably had a good half a dozen to a dozen games, and these are all really good games. Uh, thankfully, I was able to recover a lot of them, you know, uh, Symphony, Symphony of the Night coming to Xbox Live Arcade, I was stoked to hear that. I got better versions of Tony Hawk, like on the Dreamcast, 
So, you know, I had that kind of a thing, Tony Hawk 3 on the GameCube, and holy crap, we're getting some lag again. <clears throat> for no, uh, for some in inexplicable reason. But, man, that was the one thing, like, it was just the nature of what it was. Like I said, I was, during that time, I was broke. You know, I have disposable income now. Like, I'm finally doing well enough. Like, I can support myself, I can save money, I can still, you know, buy these Steam games. Like I said, everything on the channel, if uh, you're just tuning into the stream, <clears throat> and you, you know, you don't follow me on YouTube, uh, oh my god, we're getting really choppy. <clears throat> It just, there's times where it goes really choppy and then it smooths out, so I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, I, you know, back in the college days, as, as good a memories as I have about it, the worst thing was I never had any freaking money. Like, I would just buy things and, you know, save up and... You know, that was when it was like, okay, I know these titles are coming out this year, and I had to choose maybe three or four that I wanted to pick up throughout the year. Um, and even then, if I was lucky. So, selling my systems is one of the... Aha, you fell in the hole, I saw you. That was funny, just open the door and there he goes. That was pretty good. And you need to die. There we go. There we go, second level done again. But yeah. Wish I had some of those systems. So ever since the PlayStation, I still have my N64, GameCube, Dreamcast, original Xbox... Granted, they're all in the closet right now, um, but I do own them, and so, yeah, I just really hated selling those things, and I'm glad that so much of this stuff is actually coming to digital, because, yeah, there's only so much room you have in a one-bedroom apartment, and if I can pull something out of my digital shelf and play it that way and not have to dig a console out of my library. That's why I'm I'm stoked that Shenmue 1 and 2 are coming to all your neighborhood platforms later this year because I've kind of wanted to play <laughs> Shenmue, especially the first one. Like, I know 2 had more things in it, but there's just something about the first game when you were in Osaka, uh, or you were in... Um, Oh, what was the name of the town Ryu was in? But, you know, he was in his hometown, and, like... There's just something really cool about exploring that guy's, like, hometown neighborhood and everything, and he knew all the people, and... You know, this was open world before things like Grand Theft Auto, and, like, the fact that you could go... And, you know, you can go in and out of buildings, like, pretty much every building. Yeah, there were load screens in between every... <clears throat> going in and out of almost every door or building, but... The fact that you could, and in each one of these buildings, like, everything was rendered. You could, you know, you could, uh, like, pick up anything and interact with it. You could look at it. Sometimes if you did that, if you were in a building, like a, a shop or something, you picked up something and, and the, the shop people would tell you something about it. I mean, it was just, yeah, the voice acting, especially the English voice acting, was horribly cheesy. But it was English, you know, so I could still play it. I remember, you know, like I said, I would love to play the Yakuza games, but I can't, at least easily, because they're not, they're only subtitled, and if the subtitles just keep on going and I can't read fast enough, I'm going to miss out on the vast majority of that story. Um, so that's kind of a sad thing, because... Yakuza is basically kind of the natural progression, I think, of what Shenmue wanted to be. So, 
you know, I know Shenmue 3 got pushed back to 2019. Uh, that announcement happened a week or two ago. Sad to hear it, but I'm, I'm not all that sad because I want them to take as much time as they need to get it right. I want the game to be good. We always, I remember we always used to get mad at delays. You know, I remember Ocarina of Time. That got delayed a bunch of times or something, and the game was better for it. I mean, Ocarina of Time was a masterpiece. Speaking of N64, yeah. <laughs> oh man, I, I forgot about that one. Yeah, there's, uh, I, so I played that in college, of course, and I was never, the funny thing was, I was never a big Zelda fan. I played the original Zelda. I never had a Super Nintendo, so I never really got to play much Link to the Past, uh, except for, like, in passing. And, um... So I never really played a Zelda game fully until Ocarina of Time. I just, I love the 3D and, like, the actual sword battles and stuff like that. I loved it. And I remember being... I remember being in uh, college and there was this, I had this art class one afternoon, it was a three hour class, and uh, I went to the class and I was like really deep in the game, I'm like, god I want to keep playing this, I really want to keep playing this, and I made it like a half an hour, and, <laughs> and I remember in that class I was like, you know, I'm not really feeling that well, you know, and I'm like, can I go home? And I was like, no, I just, I have to play more Zelda. So I, I got there, I'm like, nope, I gotta ditch class. That was the one time. I was like, nope, nope, gotta play Zelda. I still remember that. Not one of my prouder moments. Not one of my prouder moments, but it did happen. Alright, so now... I think story time is over. I, I have to... I really gotta try to concentrate and not die, because I killed the boss, and I really need to find... Okay, come here, you bastard! Because I want to find... I want to see if I can find... a store that has the health in it. I need to find that, because I will... I will use a genie wish to get not one heart, but basically fill my heart meter back up. I will... Okay, I hear... Hear that? I think that's a store. Oh, ball... Okay. Oh, yeah, there... Okay, there is... What is it? Oh, it's a stupid padlock thing. Okay, that's not what I want. Now I gotta contend with this. I have two hearts, and I don't know where I'm. So yeah. Running, running, get me the hell out of here! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Get out of here! Okay, I'm gonna jump. Yeah. Please get away from me. Yeah. F off. Okay. I see a door. I'm gonna grab a chuckable. Um... I don't see a store. But... I'm gonna go in here. Yeah! Okay. Go that. Blow it up. So I still have two hearts left. But trust me, certain enemies, two hearts, can ruin your day a big time. Okay, oh. Okay, that's like an ice uh, armor, I think. You know what, I'll take any armor at this point. As long as it's not that cracked stuff. <clears throat> oh man, I swear to Okay, well, there's the end of the level. At least I beat it. I'm hope. Well, usually there's a store right at the beginning of the level, and I hope to God it hell. I hope to God it tells me 
or it gives me what I need. Let me check. I haven't checked the stream in a while. Make sure. Yep. All right, we're good. We're going. We're streaming. All right. Yeah, story time is on hiatus here. We got to... We gotta drastically fix the health situation, and that didn't do it. Crap. Because now we're just gonna get harder enemies. I'll grab that. <sighs> Alright, what do we got in here? Okay, I see you. Oh! Kill it! Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't know that guy was right behind me, but I saw the chick, and I'm like, no, you have to die. You have to die. Okay. I should have more than enough money to afford said health if I can find. Okay. I got you bastard. I, I hit you first. Good. Or I swung first, I'll guarantee you that. Okay. Got that. Get any treasure. I guess I can grab that. Now the problem is I have to also contend with these arrow traps, <coughs> which often get hidden in these, like, in the foliage of these levels. Okay. I just want to see... I don't hear any stores or anything. Uh-oh. Okay, I definitely don't want to go that way. I, I... Oh, wait. Was that a... Oh, no. Okay, that was that was you bad people. Get the hell out of here. Okay, we don't want to go that way. Hey, you want to come? You want some food? Yeah. Perish. Okay, that was a really bad idea to go that way. Okay. I hear a store over there. Drop that down. Come here, buddy. You come in here. I can't... I can't see with all this... Foliage! Matter of fact, as I go to the door, I think I might crouch. Because I... Do not want... To be a victim... Okay, well, that's good. I'm glad I have backup. But... I really need health. I really, really need health. Badly. So we're going to take things nice and slow, like... Grab this so I can weaken dudes. Uh-huh, look at that. Oh no. Hit him! Kill her! Frickin' balls! No! Get away from me! Okay, am I far enough away? Okay. We're gonna go over here. And blow that up so that... Okay, there's a... Oh, that's ugly. See, that's one thing I, I don't like about the generation of this, is if you open that door from the other side, they put that frickin' trap, like, you're gonna get beamed right in the face. That's a bunch of crap. That is a bunch of crap, is what that is. So, I'm gonna... Okay, that is a regular door. I'm gonna jump through here. Uh-oh. Yeah, you... you... Oh, no, 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 no. Please kill him. Or her. 
Fuck! Okay. We're still at one and a half hearts. And we're gonna blow this sucker up so I don't kill it, I don't hurt myself. We're gonna grab this. <clears throat> and we're gonna grab on top of this pillar here. I'm, I have the gold! I just need a damn power up. I need the health. Okay, that's money. Definitely gotta be careful not to fall for these uh, chest traps. Okay, there's something up there. We're gonna smack that down. Okay, yeah, do not go in that door. <laughs> you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna get smacked by that thing I was just talking about. Okay, let me grab that. Man, I need, I want to bank all this money that I have. Do I even want to... Okay, we're gonna crouch just in case some jackass put a thing. There's no store. I need... Oh god, okay, I need a store, and I need health, and I need it freaking now. Okay. What are we doing? There's a store. No, okay, I, I saw glowiness. That's just one of those things. If there is, a, if there is an arrow trap out here, I'm going to be severely pissed. I'm going to... If there is a arrow trap around here, I'm going to be extremely pissed. Okay, we're going to go here. All right, I got a tweet notification. Blow that up just in case I got to make a run for it and I inadvertently do something dumb. Again, I'm trying to be really slow and cautious because... I have no health. I'm listening. Listening for some kind of a store. Okay, is there... Shoot that out. On this way, guys. I'm ready for you. Okay, you're dead. I don't mind you. Okay. Okay, I hear an arrow trap. That's good to know. Go kill him, dude. Come here. Yeah. Kill him, okay. Okay, those guys are done. There's no... Mm, man. We're gonna, you know, we're going through all of this stuff. And... I think... these, I think these arrow traps, like, they take two hits of health away. I'm pretty sure. So if I get hit by one of these, I am fucked. Okay, I do have to go this way. And it's getting really choppy again. Seems like every few minutes. Like, I don't know if there's certain... Uh -huh. Okay, we're not... Oh, Chubbis! Hey, you... No... Got another. Stop being so choppy. Yeah, it seems like every few minutes. Okay, little ghosty guy, you better have my back. No. 
Hey Google, stop. Ah, you... Hang on. Hey Google, stop. Alright, it thought I... Okay, it thought I was talking to it, apparently. Perish. And that charging thing got a cheap hit on me, now I'm down to one health. And it's still choppy. Okay, I'm going to pause it for a minute, because A, I'm going to check my stream, and B, I'm going to hopefully let my frame rate iron out a bit. Uh... Oh, okay. Cool. Somebody did like it, so I wonder if anyone is actually watching. Let's find out. Nope. Not now, anyway. Okay. Okay, that's money. Oh, man, look at how much money I have. <sighs> One heart. I have a lot of money. My frame rate is going to crap. Okay, I hear something. Is that... I don't know, I can't remember, is that the store sound, or is, no, I think that's one of those explosive sounds. I think. Oh, it's a store. Okay, I'm gonna crouch. Because I don't know if there's any arrow things. You know what? I w Ah, oh, fuck. It's one of those... Oh no. Okay, it's one of the summoners. Uh, do I want to... You know what? I will, do, I will use that because I have money. So I don't have to worry about arrow traps. This guy can keep those ghost buddies busy. And then I'm going to go see... I'm gonna go see the in the damn store. This is where disabling the traps comes in. Ah, you! No! Half, okay, I have literally a half a heart now. Frick. No, dude, move your ass. Yeah, go in there. And then... Ah, no! I killed myself! I got too close. I was trying to... Mm, I blew it. Oh, bummer. Third time's a charm. Assuming we can get our frame rate back. Let's try one more time. I am actually having a lot of fun doing this, so... Okay. Let there be frame rate, please. I think I'm gonna kind of pause on the whole story time thing. I think, uh, you know, we got something going. We got got a little reminiscing going on there, and I'm going to try and see if I can actually get a good. I mean, I did a better run the second time, so I'm pleased about that, but. I just got those little pot shots, and I just kept getting chipped away, like one heart at a time, or half a heart at a time! Sit down and die, you skeleton lizard. Part of die, don't you understand? Thank you. Oh, there's three of you! I said die. Thank you. Okay, now that we're clear, now that we're all on, on the same page, and we're stunned. <clears throat> Build up our cash again. God dang it, I lost a lot of cash on that, on that last round. I mean, I disabled the traps, that was good. I just didn't have enough health to make up for it. 
got cheap shotted by that stupid uh, fire ghost. Okay, let's uh, let's go check up here. I just want to see if there's another store. I said the first. I mean the first zone, the, this market or whatever. Like there's a lot of more. There's a lot more stores and stuff. So like you can kind of get upgrades here. But they seem a lot more stingy on that in the second in the forest area. Okay, I bet you there's break things up really fast. Okay, and then we'll jump up here because usually, yep, I hear jingle jangle. That is good. Jump! There we go. Got a. Oh, okay. That's uh, a disabled trap thing. Let me just make sure I don't. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I almost fell on a floor trap. So I'm gonna leap over that. Ah! Trying to catch you both on fire. Is it done. Starts people on fire. And yeah, I don't need to disable traps here. I'll save that for a much grimmer day. And let me go in here just because I want to make more money. Oh, wait, is this. Okay, this is actually where I came from. Alright, so let's just keep on moving. Haha! <laughs> Yeah, you stand by that warm uh, lantern thing and get exploded. And I'll take your cash, thank you. Okay, you're on fire. That'll do. Uh-oh. I hear, I hear gold, but I gotta find... Tweedledum there and uh, kill the charger. I'm gonna call him a charger because that's what he... Does ah there it is. Give me treasure. There's more. Oh, there is more. All right then. Yep, grab that. And we'll start him on fire because I can. So the I think all of these streams are just going to be bonus videos of some kind. Um, you know, I'm going to do my I'm going to keep doing everything I'm doing, all my regular playlists, my low vision spotlights, my accessible games, or if I change the name, yeah. if I change it to oh my god the frame rate, save the frames, oh my lord. Um, if I switch it over to no vision spot doing something like that um, hardware reviews all of, all of that stuff is gonna stay the same Wednesdays Saturdays uh, it I don't know like I said it could be different from week to week how often I decide to stream and I think it's gonna partly depend on what kind of games like am I in the gaming mood am I you know is there a game that I'm currently hooked on like a month or two ago, uh, I would have been streaming. <clears throat> I would have been streaming uh, Vermintide 2 because I fell really hard for that game. That was the one I played before this, and I played it quite a bit. So had I bothered to actually look into Mixer, I would have fired it up for those, because that was, you know, late, you know, the last couple of years, like, I used to come home from work, and I'd play games, and I'd even play them with the broker and stuff, and, you know, as you get older, you know, or you just, you know, again, I'm using a computer all hours of the day, I just don't always want to come home and sit in front of a screen. If I use any electronics at all, it's my phone, because I kick, you know, I 
put on a pair of headphones, wired or wireless, and read a book. Or listen to a podcast. Something like that. But, uh... You know, if, if a game hooks me enough, I will. Like, if I think about it, like, this game, I would think about it at work. Man, I want to get further, I want to see the new zones. See what kind of new enemies, what kind of crazy traps they're going to throw at me. And so when I come home, it's like, yeah, I'll make a little food, make a little supper. Complete shit. It's literally frozen. Let me. I, the problem is I can't alt tab either. I think if I alt tab, it's gonna mess up my stream. Hmm. Well. And when I streamed this the other day, I didn't have any problems at all. So. I didn't have any problems with frame rates at all. It's just today, uh, it'll be smooth for a few minutes, and then it just gets completely terrible. Um, it could be... I don't know if it's just my computer, or if it's Mixer just having trouble shooting all this stuff up to the stream. I don't know, but oh my god. This is getting... I mean, literally... It's it's like a snapshot. It's it's getting really bad to the point where like it's almost becoming unplayable. I'll give it a little while longer, but I think probably for sure after this particular run, uh, no matter what happens, I think we're gonna wrap this one up because the stream quality is just not. It's just not keeping up. Um, ice armor, or <laughs> porcelain? I would think is fragile, wouldn't you? I mean, when you think about porcelain, you know, it's. Hmm. I don't know which one. Is... See, that's the problem. Is I wish I knew which one was technically stronger. I would think... I'm gonna go Frost just because, I mean, there's like an elemental thing to it. Okay, kill a guy, that was good. You know, and I can't even say that it's, um, that it's like open areas, because when I went into that one, uh, I was in that last treasure room, and it was just complete trash. <coughs> and now I'm outside again, and the frame rate is pretty solid, so... I... don't particularly know what's up with my frame rate. Uh, we'll just run with it and hope it kind of irons itself out. Okay, there's a wall, and there is a crack. Okay, that means I've got to try to find... That's fire, I don't... Well, I'll take fire in case I need it for ammo. For killing guys. But I need an explosive... I need... Okay, there's a store. Start him on fire. And then I will whip that. Oh, okay, you s oh, okay, hey buddy, I'll, I'll kill you. Come here. Come here, I got to show you something. There we go. And now you're dead. Perfect. Alright, let's go back up here. I see there is a store of some kind. And I would love to find... Okay, yeah, I'll get a buddy. Yeah, I'll get him going on. Uh, naturally, I want an explosive, so when I can go in that door, that would be great, but I don't see one. Let me try to... Okay, we'll jump up here. Make sure there's nothing on the ground. And, okay, we got a... Okay, I've got full health, so I don't need to use that at the moment, provided I don't do anything stupid. Get a floor 
Oh, we got treasure and a floor trap. I hear treasure. Where is treasure? There it is. Okay, smash this open. Alright, we are past... Or are we only on the first level? Oof. Oh, uh, no, we might be on two. I can't even remember. It's all kind of a blur. Huh. Like I said, I don't know if these streams are actually going to take off, how often I'm going to do them, or even if people even care, you know? Um, as I upload these to YouTube, if anybody does watch them... Oh no! My butt, dude! My body! He got stuck in the spike trap. Son of a bitch! I just lost my companion. That really bites. Um, but yeah, I mean, let me know. Uh oh. Ah, let me know if. You sucker. Let me know if you do want these and. Uh, I mean, I did the one mixer that I did upload. Uh, yeah, I got a few views on it, so some people are. I mean, I guess it depends on. Like I said, if I don't want to spam my channel with too many up, uh, uploads a week, I know I typically upload longer videos as it is. So I kind of want to keep that in check as as well. Oh God! Back away. Yep, that was a trap. Sure, now you give me an explosive. When I don't need it yet. Yeah, it's almost when I get to these enclosed areas that the frame rate is going to crap. Which makes no sense to me. Oh, shit! I noticed the one and I didn't even pay attention to the other four. Well... Uh, yeah, see, so some of those floor traps are just little light spike traps, <laughs> and other ones are instant plummet to your bloody death traps, which, until that point, I was actually doing pretty well, um, and you, yeah, my run just ended like that. I don't think I have it in me to do... One of the later levels, and I'm like I said, I'm kind of cautious because of the frame rate issues that I'm having today. But maybe I'll try it once. I'll just try it once. I'll probably die spectacularly right away. But I said early on in the stream I would try, so I'll give it one shot. But um, I guess yeah, it really just depends on how much of a gaming mood I'm in and if. If these streams catch on, I don't know if they will or not. I should do a Vermintide stream. I, I really should. Because, you know, I showed you a couple of the levels. And yeah, I think I only showed you one video. Um, and that was early on. I've beaten all the levels on the lower difficulty levels. Uh, I've beaten them all, except for the last... The last level is a real pain in the ass. It's... Oh, it is hard. That is where co-op would definitely be welcome, because I'm just getting butt kicked every time I go in there. Oh, really? The first thing I do is a trap. That's fantastic. I'm trying to get money so I can summon my buddy. And what do I get? Nothing. Okay, these guys... These guys aren't so bad. I don't mind them. Uh, we have, like, floating drone things. We have shields. We have shield guys. We have teleporting guys that chuck bomb things at you. We have all kinds of nonsense in this level. Okay, we got cash. I like cash. I would love to earn enough. I don't think I have enough to summon my buddy. How much does he cost? Oh, okay, okay. Awesome. 
I do have my buddy with me, and let's go up the... Oh boy, okay. I'm a little worried about these because the, the AI doesn't seem very good. See, you shithead! He doesn't go through those types of doors. And then... What? What the hell did he do? Oh, what? In the hell? Is there some other trap? The fuck? Okay, I'm leaving that area. I have almost no health, or half health now. So in addition to the door, there was some other thing going on. Now I can't afford armor. Oh, I can't. Ah, <laughs> okay. Um... all kinds of traps here. Okay, you want me to go this way? Ah! You, okay. Yeah, you need to blow up. Pronto. And some of this actually does make it hard, like, with some of these lighting effects do make it hard to see. I mean, there's a lot going on here visually. I mean, look at all the reflections from the ceilings and the walls and... Uh -oh. Okay, yep, yeah, you're dead. Okay, good. Uh... Yeah. Ah! Ow! Okay, this is gonna go real bad, real fast. Okay, we got summoners. That's awesome. And by awesome, I mean absolutely hot garbage. I'm gonna go in here. Oh, Jesus! Bad to worse. I don't have the Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. Yeah. Three hearts. I like the look of this zone. You can tell we're getting into fancier digs, but. But with fancy things. Oh! Okay, killed that drone thing. Gotta be on the lookout for those things, because those will mess up your day, especially if they get moving and they start kind of zigzagging around you. Those are not cool. Let me grab some more chuckable ammunition here. With my me and my shitty health. No! No! Where'd they go? See, it's so easy to lose them. Okay. Drop it. Sit down. Blow up. Thank you, drive through. Okay. I don't have a whole lot of money either. Ah, Jesus, I almost did it again. Uh, look at that pit, man. I really gotta pay, it, pay better attention. That is the second time I almost fell for that. Oh, no! Okay, well, <laughs> that's one way to do it. Okay, that sounds like one of those barbarian guys. I can fight him. Uh oh. Okay. Oh no, 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 not these bomb guys. Son of a. These guys suck ass. They teleport. And they shoot, like, explosives at you. And I need to find. Okay, if I grab a chuckable. Did I kill him? Uh, no, I don't think I did. Alright, I hear gold. Need more in case. 
Oh jeez! See, and then I hit him and he still teleports. Like a little scared pain in the ass. And I'm so dead. I'm so gonna die. Okay, yeah, start him on fire. Fuck you, buddy. Uh, me and my one health. Awesome. <sighs> well, that went well. Um, is there anything else I can get in here as far as money? Not that it really matters unless I... Oh, wait, I can't even... You know what? I can't even get full health. Because warping here, I think, used all three wishes. <clears throat> so if I were miraculously able to find... If I were miraculously able to find something for health, <laughs> I would only be able to get one because I do not have... Oh! Okay, yeah, that's a great way to end it. You know what? That's cool. I thought there was something on the wall, so I tried to jump past it. I think that's where we're going to call this one, you guys. Probably been playing for an hour, hour and a half at this point, but, um, yeah, that is some more City of Brass. Um, again, I would love to start from the beginning and get this far so that I have resources and things like that, but, yeah, you forego if you warp. If I were to warp to the second, you know, like the second area, I would, I would, I would use one wish. If I move to the middle area, which you guys haven't seen on camera yet, I would uh, give up two wishes. And this being, I think, one of the major last sections of the game other than the final boss area, I think, from what it looks like, this may be the, the last major area. Um, but yeah, you give up any of your wishes, so you either you have to do very, very well... Um, and if you find one of those health dispensers, genies, you can't uh, refill all of it because all your wishes are gone. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the little uh, reminiscing, rambling. And with that, we will wrap up this little stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Follow me on YouTube at youtube.com slash illegally cited. I will put the archive of this one up there here at some point in the near future. And follow me on Twitter at BGFH79. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys again later.